Were you gifted new pencils recently? It's so satisfying to sharpen them, but let's get to coloring. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine, the artist behind Bigelow Fine Arts. Today I am using Prismacolor Premier colored pencils for the first time and coloring in this free downloadable from Joanna Bassford's blog. I'll have the link below for you. These are a much loved pencil by many colorists, beginners and advanced alike. So if you just got a new set, then this beginner color along is just what is needed. I am starting on this daisy-like flower with canary yellow, and I am using small circles to fill in the bottom and top of the petal. I am leaving the middle white to give the appearance of the petal bending over, and that is the high spot, with the color washed out. I add in an extremely light layer over top the white center as I go along, just so it isn't quite so bright. Since these pencils are so soft and smushy, it is hard to get a light layer of color without overdoing it, so feel free to skip the light layer. For this printout, I am using a cheap cardstock that I picked up from Walmart. Literally nothing special about this paper, except it is slightly better than printer paper. But in a pinch, even printer paper will work. For my next color, I am coming in with Spanish orange and adding in a layer at the base of each petal to make it look a little darker. I could have added more color, honestly. I am now using white to blend the middle, pulling some of the yellow in to tint the white just a little. Since I am thinking this looked like a daisy, I decided to make the center brown. So I began with a layer of sienna brown, working that in over the entire center of the flower, but not pressing too hard. I want to be able to blend another color over top. I have a small set, so I will be blending a lot. I bring in dark brown to blend over the top of the sienna and also add in a darker shadow around the outer edge of the center to make it look as if it is sticking up a little from the center of the flower and not just flat. And that is the first flower done. On to the next flower. I come in with peach and work up the tiny petals in the center. 
I also decided to add the peach to the small drops on the second layer of petals. There is no planning of colors here. I am just grabbing whatever I think will work and going with it. I fill in the next section of petals with mulberry, adding in a light layer over the peach drop to blend it into a slightly darker color so it will match the petals a little better. It will take a little bit to fill in these petals, but if I am going too fast, feel free to pause and catch up. I am using a light pressure since this is how I normally color with my polychromos pencils, which are much harder and can damage the paper if I press too hard. But using light pressure does mean more layers, while also affording me the ability to blend other colors on top easier since I haven't flattened the tooth of the paper. If this is your first time coloring, make sure you take lots of breaks, rest your wrists, make sure you're sitting properly, and also make sure you look up every once in a while so you don't get any eye strain.
Now that I have made it all the way around, I am using the Tuscan Red to add in some shading to the base of the petal, as well as up the side where the next petals overlap with this one. I also add in a little touch of shading at the top where the lines are, more like a couple of downward flicks with a pencil than any filling in. I will be blending all of these colors together. Because of their soft, smushy nature, these pencils blend really well. For the center peach petals, I add in a little bit of Tuscan Red at the base of the petals to also add in a bit of shadow. Then I come back in with a peach to blend the Tuscan Red in a little better. I also blend the Mulberry into the teardrop a little better, smooshing out the color. Back in with the mulberry and I am blending the Tuscan Red into the bottom and side of the petal. I leave the top since I will blend that with something else. And for the top of the petal, I blend that with white, keeping it mostly to the top. White is great for blending since it has no color to it, but it does lighten up the colors underneath. I wanted the top to be lighter, so white was perfect. Whereas when I blended out the center petals, I used the original peach so that I wasn't lightening up the color.
Now to the outer petals. I am beginning by filling in the inner part with pink. I add in a light layer of mulberry over top the pink since I didn't really want pink but more of a dusty rose. The mulberry works great for that. For the shading, I add in Tuscan Red again, keeping it to the bottom of the petal. I blend all of that together with more pink.
I blend to the top with white and wanted to show that the white picks up whatever color it was last used over. So I keep a piece of paper handy to rub off any extra color on the pencil so I don't transfer pink to something I wanted to keep yellow, for example. I can also use that page to test out different colors to see if they work together. The outer section of the outer petal, I add in a layer of Tuscan Red, making it darker at the bottom of the section where it would be in shadow. I blend in mulberry on top to change the color just a little to more match the rest of the flower. Finally, I blend the top part with white.
For the center of the flower, I wanted it to be yellow. I started with goldenrod, but that wasn't the yellow I wanted. So I added in a layer of canary yellow on top, but the goldenrod was too dark. So to fix it, I simply added in more shading around the center of the petals, and that made the center look more yellow. By increasing the contrast, the yellow appears lighter. And with a final blend of peach, this is finished. Thanks for joining me on this beginner lesson today. Let me know below or on social media if you followed along. I'd love to know how you did. Did you get new pencils for Christmas? I want to thank you all so much for coming along and joining in with me on this coloring journey. I appreciate all my subscribers and look forward to more of you joining in and coloring along with me. Please like, share, and subscribe to help that happen. Until next time, happy coloring.